Hi everyone, Sandy Carley here from School Outdoor Learning. You're watching Soul Interactive. This is the video channel that brings you free to use, free to share outdoor learning resources. So the exercise we're going to share with you today is called Talking Down the Tubi Telephone and it's all about the art and science of great communication. More specifically, it will enable you to explore with your young learners speaking and listening skills, contributing to a conversation and also following instructions and asking clear questions of other parties. So in terms of equipment, it's really quite simple. We've seen schools spend an awful lot of money on very specific uh, tubi telephone type apparatus and it's quite one dimensional um, and also can be quite expensive to buy. We tend to just go to uh, hardware and DIY stores and buy this type of plumbing pipe. So this is Flowfast 40 mil diameter uh, plastic plumbing pipe. Um, and then you can buy all sorts of connectors that go with it as well. Uh, you can buy adjoining sections, bends, and then you can get T-sections on there as well so that you can have multiple networked communications going off with different pipes traveling in different directions and obviously larger groups at the end of each of, uh, each of those lines, as it were. Um, the great thing about these as well is when they're not being used as tubi telephones, you can use them for all sorts of other purposes. Children will use them for ball runs and water runs and all sorts of other things. And they really are quite cheap to buy. So we've got for you, which we'll show you later when we show you some of the setups, we've got about 30 meters worth of pipe and associated connectors. And the entire budget for buying all of that would be less than 150 pounds. So it's all pretty cost effective, cheap to buy and highly versatile. So the concept of tubi telephones is super simple. Uh, you're going to join sections of tube together and you can make varying different lengths uh, according to uh, the space that you've got available to you. And at its simplest, you're going to have a sender at one end and a receiver at the other end, and they can engage in a conversation. It's suitable for all ages. So you can go from the very young to uh, older children. And we've even had teenagers have some great fun with this exercise as well. So at its simplest, just a straight line run, the children can engineer these runs themselves and connect all the pieces together. Uh, this is about 10 meters in length and with a sender and receiver, uh, two children can have a fantastic conversation and the clarity of what you hear coming through the tube, irrespective of the length of the tube, is amazing. It will ever so slightly blow your mind. Now, obviously you can build on the complexity of the task by just adding in more resources great resources to use are the splitter connectors. So here you can have two pipes going off and then another two pipes. So actually you can build quite complex networks that go off in different directions and then you can have larger groups involved, more talking, more listening, uh, and then the groups themselves could be involved in some quite complex activities. So you, you could be reading out instructions that they then have to follow uh, and different children following different, uh, different instructions to complete a task. Another great activity is for the teacher or a student even to be at one end reading out a story or a passage of text um, and then that has to be listened to very attentively and then questions might get asked about the story or the text and some of the detail within it. So loads and loads of ways to build some of this complexity. And of course, you don't just have to have individual uh, students at each of the, the end points or the connector points. Uh, you can have multiple children there as well. So actually they're, they're talking, they're sharing in their own small groups, but they're also talking and listening and sharing through the tube telephone itself. So really, really have some fun with this. And obviously if you've got children that are out of sight of one another, so you're going over fences or around trees or the corners of buildings, uh, then again, having that out of sight piece means you miss all the non-verbal cues uh, to communication. But what becomes really, really important is the speaking and listening part to the communication skills, which we're trying to build in our young learners. So with your tubi telephone set up, some, hopefully some complex structures and your students starting to speak and listen through the tubi telephones and to understand some of the complexities of communication, then you can really ramp things up and run some quite complex team and communication exercises. One fantastic example we're going to share with you is a task called question time. And we're going to use the, uh, the duct pipe for this, uh, just for a little bit of diversity. And essentially the way it works is you're going to have a built structure 
Duplo Bic bricks work brilliantly well uh, because they've got color and shape and different sizes. So you build a structure at one end and using communication through the Tubi telephone, that structure has to be recreated at the other end of the telephone. But there are complexities. We'll talk about it now. So question time is quite simple to set up. You just need a long enough tube so that uh, you can have two teams operating out of sight of each other and also out of earshot of each other. At one end of the tube, you're going to have one or more architects. Their job is to, uh, following instructions, build a structure or create a structure of their own design. And then that structure has to be recreated at the other end by builders and questioners. So what the architect's going to do is they are going to listen to questions from the questioners and they're going to give responses back. However, the architects can only respond to direct questions and they can only respond with yes, no or no comment to those questions. So the questioners have to be very, very specific. And you'll see from the designs here, you can get really, really quite complex with the structures that you build, uh, or you can keep them very simple according to the age and ability level of your students. And what we're going to do is we're going to, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to use this little design here, which will show you from both ends. Are all the pieces used in building the construction? Yes. Do all the pieces touch the ground? No. What does the structure look like? No comment. So there's some great learning points that can come out of question time. Accurate speaking and active listening making sure that we're asking really, really precise questions to get the right responses and working collaboratively to achieve quite a complex task. So in these current times of COVID-19, uh, we've got to be acutely aware of uh, children mixing and the spread of infection potentially. So social distancing is an obvious measure, uh, ensuring that you have teams at either end of the tubey telephones or separate parts of it that are separate and disconnected. Um, and also making sure that because we're using plastic surfaces, uh, that we can either wipe them down, disinfect them using wipes. Or another obvious way is if you've got lots of connectors, each child can actually have their own connector, which they attach to the end of their tubey telephone and then they can remove it and another child can do the speaking as well uh, and obviously handling uh, the adults handling all of this equipment uh, using gloves will will reduce that threat too so there you have it that's tubey telephones and associated tasks and exercises lots of fun uh, lots of capacity to really stretch and test your learners uh, lots of learning to be generated um, you can acquire these materials really cheaply or remember you're going to have people in the building trade as part of your school community so you can probably get hold of them for nothing frankly. Uh, remember as with all the films you can download the written materials that go with it just by clicking on the link underneath the film. Please like the film, share as much as possible and we'll see you next time.